What's going on guys, Linus here, and welcome to Renowned Explorers International Society. Uh, in case you missed it, I did a series on this earlier on, on my channel. It's right over there. And uh, I explained a lot about what the game was about and stuff like that. People really enjoyed it, and, and so do I. So I, I was actually really happy about that. I wanted to do a second series. Uh, but I wanted to do it when I had a bit more time to actually record it uh, somewhat quickly and then, you know, upload it more frequently. And uh, here we are. So like I said, in the first series, I explained a whole lot of stuff. Um, I will not be doing that in this one. So if you're watching this, this is your first series on Renowned Explorers that you've seen. You might want to watch my other series first so you know what's going on. And it was, in my opinion, it was a pretty decent series. We did really well and I really explained everything, I think. Uh, pretty well, so we're gonna go ahead and start a new game um, Yeah, so they changed some things from when I played it previously uh, Let's see well, we got to play on classic. We don't really have a choice. There is impossible But I'm not sure that I can actually handle that so classic should do playing on adventure mode as you should obviously to make it more uh, entertaining, for those of you that don't know, Discovery is a mode in which you can just save and load. So when you you know mess up, you just reload the game, you try again. Adventure mode is Iron Man. If you mess up, that's it. Game is over. There's nothing you can do. You can't manually save. Um, so we're going with that. For our captain, so I was thinking about a crew to pick. I think what I wanted to do was, first of all, I really wanted to include a... Scout because we didn't have one in the first game uh, But let's see. Yeah Well, that's not too bad. I guess reduce opponents armor so we could uh, choose Molly as our leader to get bonuses for rogues and athletes uh, Let's see. I'm not really sure though. I kind of would like to unlock people like Kiwi um, for as our as our captain, so I might just use her on the team. Uh, then we would have to pick Avon and Agatha. That might not be a bad idea because that way we actually cover all bases except a fighter, uh, which should be interesting either way. And we get to play very devious, and we get to unlock two new characters, uh, hopefully at least as captains later on. So that we would have Avon, Agatha, and Kiwi. So we have a someone from Samoa, a Canadian, and a German. Archaeologist, beguiler, and survivalist. It's a pretty, uh, pretty varied the um, team. Let's see. Bonus, okay. We get extra campaign when you solve an encounter devious. It's not that good though. Uh, from my experience, the best bonus I think might be Hildegard, who gets a lot of extra research. Uh, for every campaign. It's just a very valuable bonus. And that would be cool as well. She can be friendly or aggressive. Okay. I'm not sure. I... Let's see. I didn't really put a lot of thought into this before I started. Uh, I would also like to unlock Charles. The Lores and Hattis. Hattis. We get extra collect whenever we enter a witch challenge, which isn't bad, and I actually kind of like Hattis as well. She's from Turkey. She uses a bow, meaning that she has a lot of range. She's a glass cannon. Ch uh, Charles is defensive. And let's see, Dolores. Who was that again? It was her. But I'm not a big fan of Dolores. I think she looks pretty cool. She's a cool character and all that, but her... I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of her abilities. Then again, you do have a very... Well, you, do, you have two quick thinkers, which isn't actually that great. I'd prefer like a giant um, athlete, someone like Ivan. So I guess this is what we're going to go with. We're going to go with Hattis, Charles, and Ivan from Russia. Yeah, we're doing it. We're going to be very aggressive. Someone actually wanted me to be aggressive, so that is actually pretty nice. Uh, someone left a comment, I think a couple days ago, saying, Hey, I played this game myself a little bit now that you started your series. And I like to see you try an aggressive one, so that's what we're doing. They're all either aggressive or devious, so we got devious as a backup, but we're going to try to be aggressive. Let's do it. This will be it. 
Uh, what the hell? Okay, I just want to point out that Haddis is crazy short. I was not expecting that at all, because they look sort of the same height here, but she's actually very, very tiny. Alright, let's go. Alright, this is actually, yeah, I kind of like this one. Everyone is a little bit nervous. First expedition is crucial for the crew's confidence. The crew starts out with low resolve. If the crew ever reaches zero, the crew, okay, blah, blah, blah. Um, so we only have one option, and unfortunately, it is the option that will get us more supplies, which we don't need, because we just started, but anyway. Not much of a choice, let's do it. Uh, normally you wouldn't be so excited about this, but you found an abandoned farm. The fields are overgrown with vegetables and even some fruit trees. We get three supplies, which we don't need. We only- oh god. What a waste. It's what an absolute waste. Alright, so what we were looking for is seeing us replaying as Haddis. Uh, we want to try and see a lot of witch challenges to really get the most out of it. Um, alright, let's start going by that- going that way. After a rough day of hill and mountain climbing, Charles tells the others that the highest peak in Britain is very close by. Are you in for the climb of a lifetime? It will take some extra supplies. Obviously, we're doing that. That sounds great. It is a hard journey and the crew's endurance is put to the test. After hours and hours of steep walking and even sections where the only way up is to climb, you finally reach the peak. The view is amazing and the crew is in awe. There are some flags loved by people who got there before you. You decide to plant one yourselves to let the world know of your achievement. We get three campaign. Alright, I was hoping for maybe a shot of the actual... Let's see. Okay, I was hoping for a shot of the actual view, but that's okay. Um, so this is a nature challenge. We get bonuses if we are an athlete, naturalist, or survivalist. We have two of those. I, I have a pretty good feeling about this. Let's get just... Yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's do it. All right, you encounter a group of Highlanders sweating and breathing heavily. This is, okay, yep. One of them who the others call Coach speaks. Hey there, we're the local rugby team and are trying to increase our stamina by jogging. We were just about to do some tackle drills. Why don't you join us and show us what you got? Yeah, obviously Ivan's gonna participate seeing as he is an athlete. Pretty sure he would completely destroy these Highlanders, but let's go. Ivan tackles the rugby players as if they weren't there. Eventually, even three of them try to tackle Ivan at once, but he keeps standing strong. After the training is over, the coach shows great appreciation. That was the best performance I've ever seen. This will go down in history as the best training ever. Too bad we can't add you to our team. Yep, that's not gonna work because we need this guy. So we get two collect one campaign. Good stuff. Alright, this is basically the perfect tile for us. There's a wits challenge and treasure. We gotta go here. We don't really have a choice. Let's do it. Halfway up a small mountain, the crew finds an old ruinous Saxon monastery. Many of the Saxon structures were made from wood and did not stand the test of time. A stone building such as this one is a treasure itself. Unfortunately, it does not fit in your backpack. Explore the monastery. As you approach, a strange looking hooded man is standing in front of the monastery. Well, hello there, travelers. Welcome to this old Saxon monastery. I come here once a year to make some minor repairs and clean the place up a bit. It would be a shame if such a nice place went to waste. Keep listening. Saxon man used to come here to test their skills. The most skillful would be rewarded by Tyr, the god of war. All that is left now is this heavy statue of Tyr that warriors would push and feel like a Saxon knight, and a trial in a monastery's basement that would test agility and attract noblemen with pretty rings. If you would like to test yourself, go ahead. Your performance might earn you something. Um, all right, so we could intimidate the hooded man and ask for treasure. We could go to the basement to face this trial, whatever that is. Or we could push the statue. We have Ivan with us, so I think that is our best bet. Yep, 100%. Uh, go for it. On the first try, the statue doesn't seem to move. But then Ivan really goes for it. The statue budges, and Ivan pushes it pretty far before stopping. Exhausted, Ivan and the crew turn to the old man, who is impressed and fetches something from the monastery. We have a very, very small amount of chance for a Viking helmet and golden horse as well. It's probably going to be the statuette, though. Let's be honest. Here we go. Statuette. All right. We'll take it. Uh, Terrace rewarded you, and I wish you the best of your travels. Uh, what does it do? 
eight collect, which is actually really good. That's a lot of money for us when we get home. And I'm pretty sure I didn't even have this one, so I'll take it. Thank you very much. You thank the old man and leave the monastery behind you, carrying the new treasure with you. All right, that was great. That was good stuff. Uh, now we have three more supplies before we have to um, be right over here. So what I think we'll do is go this way and see if there's any supplies over there. Meaning that we're now going to enter our very first encounter. Let's go. A group of sheep is fighting to eat from a slightly greener patch of grass. It might be interesting to study this peculiar patch of grass. Let's go. You approach the patch of grass, but the sheep see you as competition and start attacking you. Oh my god, they're sheep. What? They're gonna kill us for sure. Except there's basically, I don't think any way that they can. So we get extra rewards if we're devious, but I want to be aggressive, man. Let's start by being aggressive. Let's see how this is bow in action. I mean, that's just good stuff. She has amazing range on her bow. We are now brutal. All right, let's see. Let's have Charles punch a sheep in the face. Yeah, there you go. Uppercut that sheep. Show him who's boss. All right, last but not least, this is basically the best one. We got Ivan. Punch that sheep, Ivan. Go for it. Oh, my. Maybe it's a bit overkill for a little sheepy, but, you know. Sometimes you just gotta show your worth. He's trying to be friendly. I don't know what this face is supposed to be. All right, so let's go ahead and try Well... There's no way we're actually going to win by being devious anymore, but let's give it a shot anyway. I mean, basically, you sheep, you always, I think, take them out in one shot, whatever you do. So that was an aggressive victory. Oh, that was not good. I'm sorry. We're stronger than I thought. Okay, we resolved a conflict in an aggressive way. Uh, Ivan now gets extra armor and attack power. You successfully calmed down the sheep and can finally take a look at the grass. After careful examination and some tests, it seems the grass contains some special nutrients that attract the sheep. You take some with you for their scientific value. All that for just one science thing. All right, go this way. Two people are having a heated discussion as you walk by. One of them yells at you. Hey, you. Yeah. Hey, yes, you. We need your opinion on something. We're discussing what the best way is to solve problems. We've got to go with the tech, obviously. So this guy believes that attack is the best way to go. We're going to side with him. Excellent choice. Attack is always the better option. I'll teach one of you how to use attack more effectively on this island. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just give it to Hattis because she's got range and I like her the best. She learns about the history and customs of this island, which will be very useful during challenges on this expedition. All right. So now she gets five extra attack. And Ivan leveled up, actually. We could make him a naturalist now that I am taking a look at this. Honestly, might not be a terrible idea. I'm going for that. Yeah. All right. Well, we're out of supplies. So our only option is to go to the actual uh, Saxon grave or I don't know what it's called, actually. Burial site. Yeah. Burial site of the Saxon Kings must be somewhere around. Once you get there, this expedition will come to an end. Let's go. You search through the hills and quickly find what, the, what you're looking for, the burial site. One of the tombs is of King Egbert, a particularly mysterious figure. Finding its secrets will surely skyrocket your reputation at the renowned explorers. However, you hear a familiar laughter. Behind you stands the French explorer Rivalo, who is considered to be the most promising of the renowned explorers. All right, it's basically the exact same intro as the previous series. He always acts the same way. Uh, there is, however, one difference. Uh, allow my sharp companion, Amir Akhtar, to explain my thoughts. Basically, depending on, I believe, your approach during this expedition and what your team is best suited for, uh, you're going to face a different... Uh, okay, wait a minute. You're going to face a different uh, henchman of this guy. Before Haddis can stop Ruvalo, his crew scout, Amir, stubs you. He means to say you suck, my friend. Ludicrous, he's not letting you pass. Here we go. Now we're fighting him. Also, basically, no matter what, 
Um, you're always fighting a bunch of mob guys. I don't know why. That's just the way it works. All right, so we got two guys over there. We're just going to be aggressive. We have no reason to actually be devious. Um, I believe you can impress the guy if you take the approach that he wants you to take, but I'm not sure what that actually gets you. Uh, seeing as, you know, the last time that I did this, I picked a different approach and it actually worked fine. He still gave me a reward for this uh, fight. Also, there seems to be a bit of a bug with this little bar showing, even though Ivan is over there now. Not entirely sure what's up with that. All right, punch him in the face. I mean, this is the first island the tutorial mission. You know, it's just, it's not gonna be much of a, uh, of a challenge, really. We do have lower speech defense. Okay, yep, that guy is still pretty good. Okay, we might actually want to be devious. Or friendly. Oh boy, okay, that would have definitely taken Haddis out. Yep, we gotta be devious with this, uh... With this little group of guys. Alright, let's see. Alright, Ivan. That's not good. Alright, just punch him, take him out. Ivan is a very offensive person. Not in terms of what he says, I'm sure. But in his combat style. Right, let's see, we have a lot of range. So if I, I could actually stand over here. And then go devious. Alright, take him out. There we go. We just gotta do one more devious attack and then we'll actually uh, be a lot safer. So let's take out this guy. And that will be all the mobsters taken care of. Even when you mess up like I just did, it's still not super challenging. He might take down Haddis, which he probably will, but... Yeah, he will take her out. But even then, we should be able to, uh... Let's see, beat this. Let's go over there. We simply don't have the range to do anything here. Alright, Ivan. Step right up. Let's see. Do we want to make him unable to attack? Or unable to move, I mean. Honestly, his speech defense is absolutely terrible. But I don't know what else we can do. We can obviously revive... Yeah, let's revive... Haddis. There we go. And then we're gonna be... Oh, that doesn't really work all that well. Let's heal Ivan. Seeing as he does have pretty terrible speech defense. And let's see... All right, you do the same. All right, so Ivan should be able to take the attack now. If he doesn't, then, well, we deserve to lose. Oh boy, still pretty close. That could have been pretty bad. Uh, let's see, 60%, that's not good. I think if we behave aggressively, we should be able to take him down in one turn, so we, got, we just gotta do it. Please don't miss, though. Oh my god, are you kidding me? 80% chance and he still misses. Come on. Okay, there's actually a pretty real chance that we're gonna lose now. Uh, I can move two more tiles as her. And still attack. Uh, I think this should be fine, though. We gotta take him out, really, though. Alright, 39. That's good attack. And then all we need is Ivan's uh, pinning strike. Yep, that's, that's the only thing we really got. We gotta give it a shot. Please tell me that it works, though. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This might actually end right here, right now. You gotta be joking me. Two 80% attacks miss. I mean, this is my luck. He ran away. Okay. I mean, I guess I'm cool then. Shoot him. You shoot him. There you go. Thank God. I'm not sure where he was going, but we got him. He's mildly impressed. Oh, that was not good. I'm sorry. We're stronger than I thought. He gets an even stronger buff. But it's already over. Uh, you're strong. Mildly impressive, my friend. Let's see if you can beat us again. He drops a sack of coin and a mysterious checklist for you as some form of acknowledgement and leaves to follow Rivalei. 
Alright, so the checklist... Uh, agenda or scheme. Read it. There's three treasures that we can still grab. We could go to the Dangerous Cliffs, the Tomb of the Forgotten King, or we can convince the locals to give us some treasure. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure the locals, you would actually need a diplomat, someone like Charles. For the Dangerous Cliffs, you'd need an athlete, someone like Ivan, and for the Tomb, you need, you need a scout. I think that would be the most fun. Let's go to the Tomb. There's another tomb around here. All right. Oh boy, that's terrible. These are some really, really terrible odds. You know what? We need a scientist for this one. And we don't have one. All right, let's see if we can convince the locals. I think Charles should be able to... Okay, it's still not great, though. You know what? Maybe all we can really do is go to the dangerous cliffs. I don't want to miss out on this treasure. That would be kind of a waste. Let's send Ivan again. All right, you found a hidden cache at the bottom of a cliff. It is loaded with gold and there's a peculiar treasure, Heliodor. I don't know what that is. Okay, it's that thing. Sweet, so we got a lot of gold. That is basically... All right, your expedition still concludes on a high note. It's clear that if you want to be the mo Okay, we have to beat Rivola. Back to London. And that is our very first expedition. We got some treasure, which is okay. We got a lot of gold, though. A lot of gold. Almost no research. That is actually impressive how little research we found. Uh, I guess that's what happens when you don't have a uh, scientist with you. All right. Exotic location uncovered in the sex and grave islands by promising explorer Haddis Adaman. Uh, excited at the progress of this tyrant tycoon. All right. Impressed, blah, blah, blah. Gives an upgrade to her airship. And this is always the same. Every single game that you play, you got this badge. We're pleased. That, okay, blah, blah, blah. You're trying to be Revlo. You got four more expeditions. Okay. And he explains us what everything is for, but we already know. And there we go. Uh, let's see. Let's level up. Uh, Charles, definitely as a diplomat. Uh, let's give Haddis a... Yeah, let's give her an engineering perk. To spread everything. And let's see. Alright, we can definitely buy some of these. Armor, armor, armor. She has, like, no protection. I don't know what's up with that. Sell all these because, honestly, they're terrible. Give you one armor. There's honestly just no point to even having all of these things. And let's see. All right. So boots, we could give those to Haddis. I think that's a good idea. They improve her grit, which allows us to evade enemy attacks. 28% chance to evade. I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, then we'll get some gloves. Let's get everybody gloves for higher attack. I'm going to go ahead and get the memento for Ivan, and I'm going to get the armor for Charles. And that's pretty much all we can do for now. Uh, let's see. Now we need to get an entourage. So obviously we're not going to get a lot of science, so we need students, definitely. Uh, let's see. Merchant don't really care, so I'm not going to get one of those. Yeah, we're not, we can't even get our first research paper. We are honestly, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a very little science in this game. If we even get anywhere. All right. Well, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing us. This is the first part of a new series. Please consider leaving a like if you enjoyed. And I'll be back soon with some more renowned explorers. Thanks for watching, guys.